first, we need to actually create our project. So let's launch Unity and start a new project. That's just step one. I've launched Unity here, and I'm just going to click on New. And let's name our project something relevant. So let's go Hollow Lens Demo. So let's create that project. Step two, once your project is loaded, we're going to just make some adjustments to the build settings so that's ready for HoloLens. Uh, we're going to go up to the top where it says File. We're going to look for Build Settings. And here comes a nice big prompt that says Build Settings. We're going to uh, change the target platform. I'm going to click on that. Or, sorry, first we actually want to change the platform on the left side here. We're going to click on Universal Windows Platform. And then we'll be able to change our target device to HoloLens. And then just hit, uh, just click on the switch platform button. And bam, that is a little adjustment we needed to make. Step three, go into player settings. And you're going to scroll on down to the bottom of your uh, list here. And you're looking for XR settings. Make sure that virtually, <laughs> virtual reality is supported. And uh, the list should include Windows Mixed Reality. Step four, go into other settings. And you're going to scroll on down until you see scripting backend. You just want to change that over to .NET. Step five, go down to publishing settings. And you want to go into the capabilities section. And you need to make it so that the HoloLens has access to your microphone. And you're looking for spatial perception as well as the internet client. There we go. Make sure those three are ticked on. Now, step six is to download the Mixed Reality Toolkit from uh, Microsoft's GitHub. The uh, link will be provided in the description. So this is the link we've provided, and you're going to download the first one here, just Hollow Toolkit Unity and whatever year it is. Just going to click on that one and download it. I've already downloaded it during this process. So step seven, we're going to import that package we just downloaded. So Back in Unity, right click in your Projects tab in the Assets folder there. Just go over to Import Package and you want to click on Custom Package. Once you're there, navigate to your Projects folder wherever you're saving your, uh, or sorry, your Downloads folder. So mine is over in the D drive and I'm looking for Downloads. Once you're here, look for the Hollow Toolkit Unity, etc., the package here. Click on that one and just click on Open. It will then prepare the package and import it into Unity. Once the prompt comes up to select what you want to import, um, just import all. Leave it selected and just at the bottom right, we're just going to click on Import. Step eight, we're just going to configure some of the mixed reality project settings in Unity. So at the very top, after you've imported this hollow toolkit package, you'll see this option appear that says Mixed Reality Toolkit. Just click on that and you're going to select Configure. And that'll provide you with a drop down where you can see that it says apply mixed reality project settings. Click on that, and you just want to make sure that the top three there and the bottom two are all selected. You do not need targeted included devices and enabled sharing services. You can leave those unchecked. And you're just going to click on the bottom right where it says apply. So now we're ready to get into the actual project development. We've got our project set up, the settings are there. So once your build is completed, you're going to Unity will open up a file folder that will take you right to it. Or if you're on Mac, it'll just what's it called? The file finder, I think. Click on your HoloLens demo folder there and you'll see this. This is a .sln file. Yeah. And uh, that is what you used to build. But uh, before we can, we gotta make sure our computer and our HoloLens is prepared to uh, do so. So we want to go down to our Windows key. We just hit our Windows key, and you're going to look for that little gear icon at the bottom left, your Settings option there. Once you're in your Settings, you're looking for Update and Security. In my case, I just need to scroll down a bit. And now in this option, you're going to find Developer. Scroll on down, four developers here. Click on that, and you're going to make sure that the Developer mode is selected. Next, you want to connect your HoloLens to your computer. And HoloLens has this little spot here at the bottom. You're just going to plug in your USB into here, your micro USB. You just make sure it's on. And when you start your HoloLens, you're going to go through all the setup process that it provides you itself. Then use the Bloom effect, open up the main tab here, and go into Settings. And I'm just going to place this somewhere in the uh, room here. 
Then you want to go into the updates and security option here and go on to for developers. You want to make sure that develop mode is on. And scroll up and make sure device portal is on as well. Now we're going to go over to device devices and Bluetooth and we're going to look for our computer in this list. Here I see my MSI. I'm going to select that and then select pair. And we're going to wait to see that, uh, that it generates a pin. I should see the same pin appear on my computer. Okay, so here you can see the pin has appeared, 867611. And on my computer, there it is, 867611. So I'm just going to say yes and select the connect option there. Now it is it says connection successful on my computer. We can just close this up. Set up and ready to go. Awesome.